Hello and welcome back to the Avatar mod for Crusader Kings 2. So I've looked around and I've found a new strategy for us. So basically, what we've got in our current situation is we were going to expand out into this island. We cannot expand out into this island. We were going to expand into this land. We cannot expand into this land. So, pretty much our options are our liege. We could attack. This land we can attack. Um, or we can try and get a claim somewhere completely different and try and expand out. So... I'm thinking maybe one of these places down here, like someone that looks a little bit weaker, somewhere independent. We'd basically need to become a Duke level title sometime fairly soon. And if we can do that, our options expand a lot because we can have vassals underneath us. Uh, so that's pretty much the situation I want to end up in. So if we were to maybe declare war on someone like Sunan here, so look at the de jure, the duchy are these three provinces. All of these are independent nations. This could be a very good place to actually uh, expand out and get ourselves a very quick duchy. So let's try that. Let's go and fabricate a claim down here in Sunan. Let's see how they do. Because if that works for us, then that gives us another way to expand outward. And it's basically just another option. What war is going on down here, by the way? Um, There are many wars going on down here. Okay, cool. But yeah. We're just trying to find our expansion. Like, all these weak claims we occasionally get, like, uh, we can press things for people. We can't do anything with them because we can't give them land. So if we were to press their claim, they would just have a claim somewhere else. Oh, death of Avatar Roku. News is quickly spreading that Avatar Roku has perished. Just as the old Avatar has left this world, in 16 years they expected a new Avatar will emerge. But such interregnums have often been fraught with trouble, chaos, and war. Interesting. So in 16 years, so 835, uh, we'll be looking for uh, Ang to pop up somewhere, in theory. Right, uh, let's get our claim. Perfect. That was actually a really quick claim. Right, we're going to knock this one down here. We're going to send him to go fabricate claims down in this land down there. Right. Well, I guess we declare war, right? You have one ally who is your person you were subject under, but we're also a subject under her, so in theory I think we're able to declare this war. Claim Sunan. Our allies will join. Here's allies will not. Votes are yes, because it's 3-4-3 three, three against. Um, Glory Hounds are voting against, which says this is probably a really good war, because Glory Hounds generally want you to fight someone stronger than yourself. So let's do it. Declare the war. Uh, we will call in all of our allies. We'll raise all of our men. We're not going to raise our vassals men because they don't have enough to be worthwhile like they'll just get annoyed at us raising their men okay let's uh, merge up down here wait you called the earth queen in huh i did was not aware that you could do that okay new plan um i i was almost certain because we're both subjects underneath her that we couldn't do th that he couldn't do that also especially given that this guy didn't do it uh, when we declared war on him okay um, let us grab our allies, tell them to join us, and we're just going to rush. Is this the quickest route? Do you want to get on the boats? We can afford to get on the boats. Boats give us 2,000 troops. Now nah, we have to walk. We have to walk. It means we have to walk down that way. Is that really the only way to walk down? I assumed that we could walk down that way, but I guess not. Yeah, we'll see. We'll move. We'll move quickly. Um, by favor. You offer me money in return, um, you will owe me a favor. Deal. I don't know what he wants with the favor. No, I don't want to fight you. We 100% we want to dodge this army. Okay, we want to go this way. Okay. Uh, this person despises cynicism. Okay. They're going for our land. We're going for we're going for the objective. Our ally is there. Okay. Uh oh, we voted for a religious control mandate. Okay, because we're returning a favor. If we can rush this, we're in a good spot. Now, assuming that the Earth Queen is in multiple wars, I can't actually tell. She has too many diplomatic things going on. What wars are you in? You're only in one war. Think, no, she's in multiple wars. Okay, so she's not just going for us. So we might be able to win this just because she's distracted. They are going for our capital, though. Which, oh no, they're not. They're walking away from it. That's good. 
Our ally is going in there. Fantastic. Uh, there will be a fight, which they will win. It's unfortunate. But they now have less men. Right. Child lacks a childhood focus. Uh, Fong Ma needs a focus. Let's give him the focus of... I think Thrift. I think Thrift is good. He looks like he's going to be good at stewardship. So let's try and encourage that. Levy reinforcement rate has gone up. Went down to the objective. Betrothed can marry. Fantastic. We'll take it. Okay. He's marrying into the Vos. I uh, don't suppose you want an alliance. The opinion of us is relatively good, but the political concerns kind of mean it needs to be much, much higher than it currently is. Okay. Uh, we want to move in here, and we want to just siege it. Yeah, we'll, we'll win through sieging, so... Like, there's no reason to do anything else. Wait, what am to here? Um, wait. Well, I'm there. Uh, Earth Queen... Earth Kingdom no longer controls Sunan. Wait. The Earth Kingdom no longer controls Sunan? So who are you under? Nobody? You're just not a subject of anybody? No, oh, you're still a subject to First Queen Moli. Me... Oh. Oh, I hate that mechanic. I just figured out what the mechanic is. Can we disband here? No, we have to walk back. So, in case you're wondering what happened, the previous ruler died, right? So, the land became not controlled by the Earth Kingdom, right? Temporarily. Because um, this guy is a subject of them. And basically, subjects are reskinned tributaries, okay? So, tributaries in the base game, if the person dies, like, um, they are no longer, I think... Um, maybe, I don't know. They're reskinned tributaries, I'm sure. And I think what happens with tributaries is that when they're passed on to a new person, they're broken and reformed. Um, like, with the new person. So what I think happened here is that Fang died. The trib He be stops being a subject of... I think it's done personally is what I'm getting at here. So he stopped being a subject of Earth Queen uh, Mo Li. But now Lady He Won took over and then she became a subject of her. But that is a different circum... Like, it's now a different realm, technically, is what it's getting at here. Which is a little bit annoying. However, it does mean that our claim on Sunan can be inherited by a successor, which is nice. We have a permanent claim-ish. So let's walk back to, all the way to our land, declare another war, and be ready to do this again. We inherited a temple. Fantastic. Uh, well, not really, but we inherited a temple. Um, we might keep the temple, actually. Uh, we have enough uh, money to afford it right now. And, like, because we get, um, because we're over our domain limit, we, we lose uh, men. But because, um, like, we don't lose, we lose uh, money, lose income for it. But we gain the extra men, because that land is ours. And we don't get, like, the amount that we would get from vassals. So, we have larger armies. We are, of course, going on the tiger hunt. Nothing will stop us. Uh, you have arrived at the hunting camp. Uh, retainers are available to see your ev to your every need, and soldiers will be useful for guarding the camp and for flushing out any tigers. This will be a fine day. Excellent. The hunting party moves through the jungle. You're hoping um, luck will find you a tiger to kill. Suddenly, there is movement in the underbrush. A large tiger springs out, roaring fiercely. It attacks the hunting party, but soldiers immediately move to attack it and they manage to kill it with one of their spears. Phew, that was close. Failed hunt. No tigers were slain. Excuse me? The last event just told me tigers were slain. Oh well. That's an ill omen for the realm. Oh, there we go. A most successful hunt. Weird. A slain tiger means luck for the realm and everyone heads home with new optimism. And we get extra marshals. We're at 26 marshal. Not bad. Not bad for a not bender. Right. Disband. Get our military together. So we have 2,300... You have no allies apart from the per apart from your sub subject one there. Okay, I think we're ready to attack. Yeah, we can attack straight away. There's nothing stopping us. Claim Sunan. Do it right. <sighs> Call in our allies. Right, the allies. I think we're gonna set to siege right now. Um, we're gonna raise our men. We're gonna raise our boats this time. We're gonna take the boats down. I think. 
We'll see how quick those are. Move them down here. Move the men down here. Right. You have answered my call to arms, so I'll get you to siege. Okay. You've answered my call to arms, I'll get you to siege. Okay. Right. A uh, destitute noble from a former uh, enemy court asked for permanent uh, hospitality. So we can say yes, we get a soldier named Kong, or we get spirituality. We get a soldier named Kong. How good is Kong? Uh, Kong of the Gawa de Tuda uh, is not very good, but has a lot of traits. I mean, that's interesting. He's got Ying, uh, Jing. It says positive Jing. Oh, can't, this is a special trait. Okay, interesting. I wonder if that that's from anything. I don't think we have enough men to get on the boats currently, so we actually do need to split these up. Okay. Uh, you can get on the boats, right. Let's bring them down here. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, and then we'll get the boats to come back and then go back down here. Oh, Boshan has got an alliance with our liege now. Interesting. See how that goes. Do we want to land? I think we want to land. Yeah, we want to do. We want to land so we can help our ally. Perfect. Uh, we're gonna get our boats. We're gonna come back here. We're gonna get the rest of the men. We're gonna siege this down. Everything's gonna be great. We're gonna win. We're gonna get some extra land. Fantastic. Let's head back here. Get on the boats. Head down here. Get our men into this fight. Okay, or into this siege. There we go, get down there. Just merge up, because we can. There we go. 4.3 every 12 days, should be fairly quick. We're losing money really quickly, because we have no, um, yeah, actually we should take these, we should uh, take these boats back. The reason we're losing money is because the boats t cost a ton of money. Right. Um, our granddaughter has been born, fantastic. Akira, Akira, there we go. Uh, we'll keep our siege going. Disband the boats. Right, they will now stop costing us so much money. We're still probably going to be negative monthly balance, but the boats do cost some money to maintain, which is a problem. Okay. Uh, we have won another battle. We're not going to take that council support. But we've won another siege, and now it's the last siege. 8.2%. And we should be able to very, very quickly take this down. Um, okay. We can tell this person to be less slothful when uh, we're around, our daughter-in-law. Definitely. She stopped being slothful. Fantastic. Well done her. I think she did, anyway. A child likes a childhood focus. Um, I think thrift. I think thrift, again, is a good focus for her. Right. A court physician. Uh, we have one who will fit. A Yegu. Cool. We don't need to spend money on that. Vassal levies have been raised too long. and That was the boats, I think. Oh, the enemy attacked us in a very foolish, very, very foolish move. My daughter is not feeling well. We'll call for a court physician and we'll see what happens. She's been skillfully treated. She got the best treatment possible. Fantastic. Uh, we'll compensate him for a job well done. Okay, we have a 100% war score. Offer peace and force demands. We have taken the settlement of Sunan from uh, Lady Hewon of Mori. Fantastic. This is our land. We can disband our troops here now. We're going to wait just half a second. That that little warning went away. Vassal inheritance warning. This sage... Uh, who's... Oh, he's here. His land may go to this person next. Oh, she actually held land over there. I didn't even notice. Oh, so maybe I misread what happened to Fang earlier? Um, Because Fang did die. Oh! I misread what happened to him. I don't know if this was this episode or the last episode. It was probably this episode. But um, what I thought had happened was not what happened. What actually happened is um, he died. And then the what is said up here, the message didn't matter at all. I got distracted by that. What actually happened is he died and his land went to uh, his uh, granddaughter who already held land over there. So we actually fought a much bigger foe than I initially thought. But that's fine. Okay. Um, you're independent. You're definitely someone we want to attack soon. You have 3,000 men, though. For being independent, that's pretty good. Maybe you're not the one we want to attack. Who else do we have in the duchy? We have this one in the duchy. Uh, Kethier. 
you're one above only has 1,800 and has one alliance with 2,600. So, I don't know. They're both kind of equally... Like, we're both equally screwed if we attack either right now. That's fine. Anyway, we'll ask our diplomatic friend to help us with the extortionist who never goes away. Um... Okay, I've been convinced by Aobang to institute the War Declaration Committee War. All that I need is the support of yourself and my other loyal vassals. Oh, definitely, yeah. We'll make the council stronger. Tu Li and I managed to stop the mad woman from blackmailing and spreading, uh, spreading rumors about me. Fantastic. We got diplomacy. That's very, very good. Right. Um, we're not gaining as much income as we should be gaining because we're way over our domain limit, but there's no real way to get rid of it because we hold like five pieces of land. Oh, I suppose we could give away this temple right now, actually. That, that would give us a little bit more money. Okay, cool. My wife is pregnant. Fantastic. A little bit more prestige. We're now in positive prestige again. We inherited another temple, which is actually this temple. There we go. We'll give it away. Right. What's this one? We can offer a 200 don't... Uh, a 200 gold donation to our liege. Why would we do that? I think it's because our liege is making a um, war chest. Yeah, okay. Liege, do you hold like any duchy titles for, that we could hold? No, I don't think our liege holds any land that we can actually take. That's annoying. Our liege is holding onto this, but can't, isn't actually making the duchy out of it. It's very, very annoying. Anyway, we'll continue gaining our money. We should maybe just upgrade a province. Like, maybe upgrade this one with um, Earthbending Dojo. It costs a lot of money for only 40 Earthbenders. We can get uh, 65 troops here. For less. Or we could get tax income as well. Now, we need to get tax income. Let's uh, get a little bit of tax. Let's uh, plan ahead. Okay, how many men do we have max now? Um, about the same amount as we've always had. Okay, still trying to get our claim, I think. Yep. So yeah, we'll sit back and wait for our claim to happen. We have a new heir. Oh, we have a new son as well. Uh, Jingbo Ma. Fantastic. I'll say okay there. Continue gaining our money. Uh, we can't be too much longer for this world. I mean, we're depressed, we're stressed, and we're 48. Now, Brawny does take away one of the depressed or stressed. And actually, a brilliant strategist also takes away a little bit. So we're like negative 0.5 health right now, which, you know, it's reasonable, but like, I expect we'll be dying soon. Um, my wife has been clutching at her stomach. She has dysentery. We'll call for a court physician. And she has died. Unfortunate. Um, do we want to remarry? I just want to see if there's anybody, um, is there anybody with like a rank here that we could marry? We could add it. We could marry a lady, uh, Mo Lee. Um, that's a, th a theocracy. I don't know if we can marry a theocracy. I guess we can, because it's saying we can. Would our heir inherit a theocracy, though? You can't play as a theocracy. That's the weird thing. So I guess not. So I don't really want to marry into that. I think we'll just stay unmarried for a while. You would like to buy a favor for gold. Last time that went very well for us. So we'll say yes. Okay. Uh, we'll get our money. We'll keep uh, gaining that there. Cool. Like, I'm already, I'm very alright giving favors to our leash, because all he'll use it for is uh, laws. And we don't really care what the laws are, so that's fine. Um, yeah, he changed it back to rule, war, declaration, sovereignty, law. So he, 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 someone used their favor to force him to pass it so that it was by committee. Then he used our favor to make it so that it went the other way. Then it went back to him being in charge. So yeah, we didn't really care what that was at all. Tiger hunt? Of course I'm going to a tiger hunt. Um, I've always been bad at diplomacy, and I fear that I'll insult the ambassador when he arrives to talk about a possible alliance between me and his liege. So we can say, okay. 25% chance we lose diplomacy and lose stressed. Um, I'm okay losing stressed, actually. Let's do it. We didn't lose stressed. Oh, well. That's unfortunate. You've arrived at the hunting camp. Retainers are available to see to your every need, and soldiers to be useful for both guarding the camp and flushing out any tigers. Evening pastimes during the tiger hunt include playing at cards. A group is gathered to play and you join them. Of course, the game is only interesting if you play for gold and silver, but how much will you bet? Oh, high stakes. We had an excellent run at the card game and won a significant amount of money. I'm good at this. Yeah. Several forward scouts come running back to the main hunting party in excited whispers. They inform you a large tiger has been spotted ahead. 
Well, this is our chance. We're good at personal combat. Our martial is really high. We're depressed. We're stressed. This is how we're gonna. This is how we're gonna get ourselves back on the right track. Hand me my spear and stand back. I will kill it myself. Stepping forward, you watch the tiger closely, weighing your spear in your hand and waiting for the right moment to strike. The tiger prowls towards you slowly, and suddenly it leaps towards you. You sidestep and stamp with your spear, sinking it deeply into its flank. I killed the tiger. Fantastic. We got a lot of prestige. We got the event for a failed hunt, and then the event for a successful hunt, which gives us even more martial. Fantastic. We're at 26 martial, and I think this is the point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.